Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have two really easy, um, very simple holiday plaque DIYs. I'm going to be using this plaque that I just got from Dollar Tree several days ago. I will be using some pre-printable red buffalo check paper, which I was able to print up from Pinterest. Link is down below. And I am also going to be using one of these plaques. I bought several of these back in the spring and summer um, from Dollar General. I honestly don't know if they're still carrying these or not. I really didn't look in the craft section as I have several more of these left. Um, you may be able to still find them. I honestly don't know for sure, um, but I'm going to be using one of these. And I'm also going to be using several uh, really cute printables that I got holiday signs off of Pinterest. Um, I'm definitely going to be using this one. This is so darn cute. Really, really adorable. Merry Christmas with the red truck. Um, last year I didn't really do anything, I don't think, as far as the red trucks. So this year I kind of want to make up for that because the Buffalo check is still popular and so are the red pickup trucks. And this one is absolutely adorable. Uh, this one is too. They both have the pickup truck but it has a buffalo check on it. And I'm going to be using one of these two. I'll decide when I'm ready to do that plaque, um, which one most definitely I'm going to use. But yeah, I really want to do something with the buffalo check. I definitely um, want to work more, I think, with that kind of theme um, for holiday plaques. So, I'm going to stop laughing and let's get into the first easy DIY. Alright, so first I am going to remove the metal lettering from my sign, which actually came off almost uneventful. Um, this is really, really cute. I can reuse that in another DIY. As I said, minimal damage because, look, only this little spot right here. So I'm going to remove the Dollar Tree Christmas House decor sign. Let me put that there. And I'm also going to cut this rope because I'm going to be using something a little different which you're going to see in a few minutes what I'm going to use in place of the rope. I'm going to be working with this sign I printed up. The link will be down below. And I'm just carefully cutting that out. I'm going to be using my Cosmic Shimmer uh, matte chalk paint. It's a white chalk paint. You might remember this from the summertime when I was working out on um, my picnic table trying to uh, do some painting on a windy day. So I'm going to paint over this quickly with my chalk paint here. I 
I'm going to do my usual two coats, of course. So I have three layers of chalk paint on, on this black. And now I'm going to be using some Mod Podge. It doesn't matter if I'm using the gloss, I'm just going to be using it to attach this cute little red truck. And I'm just going to center that and attach it right about, let me get this out of the way. Um, I'm going to center that right about there and attach that with some Mod Podge. So that is what it's like so far. I have a little bit right here. I actually need to um, use a little bit of Mod Podge on. I don't know why this one is just so difficult to get out of the container lately. I really don't know why. It's not thick. Um, I just don't know. I really truly don't, don't know guys. I do not know. Now, like I said, this was a gloss, and I just used this to attach the paper. I'm going to actually coat over this with matte, matte Mod Podge. But before I do that, I'm going to use some of this Dollar Tree ribbon that I bought several days ago, and I'm going to use that in place of the rope to actually hang this up. So I'm just twisting one end and trying to feed it through. The opening here if I can get it through. was easy. In reality, it's a little bit tricky. I'm trying to get it all through. That opening up. There we go. Alright. So I'm just going to tie it like so. And actually double tie it. taking my matte Mod Podge and I'm just putting a quick protective cover coating I mean on my plaque all completely dry and um, that's it for this DIY as I said it's really really easy these aren't hard. Um, 
they really only take a few minutes of your time and um, they make really cute um, decor items, you know, like for the holidays. So, I'll trim that a little bit shorter. There we go. So, I'm just going to let that dry for a few minutes and uh, you'll see how cute that's actually going to look when it's all dry. Alright, so first I'm going to remove, well, try to remove, the Art Skills sticker off of my plaque. So now with this DIY, I decided to go with the smaller Buffalo Check print. I think that's just going to look nicer on this plaque. So I'm going to trim the white border off of this paper. With the border off, it makes it so much easier for me to actually gauge how I'm going to attach attach this paper. So the easiest way for me to actually do this. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, too much, too much, too much. Okay, well. I'll just have to spread it out. I did not expect that to happen, guys. Yeah, that was uh, definitely not not what I expected to happen. Um, see, the one is hard to get out of the package, and then this one um, came out of the package too fast. To attach this right to the very edge of my plaque. And being that it's matte, it's okay. If some of it gets on the wood right here, that's that's okay. Or it comes out from under the paper even, that's okay too. Yeah, I did not expect that to happen. Gosh, that was embarrassing. I'm sorry guys about that. So I'm going to match up my second sheet of buffalo check and I'm going to glue that down right to the end. So So I'm just going to attach that right over this sticker. Um, it's just too much hassle to try to get that darn thing off 
could take me an hour or more trying to get it off, little by little, piece by piece. And I'm just going to say, no, I'm not dealing with it. And yeah, just going to, um, attach this. Like so. Then any air bubbles out, uh, of course. Sometimes it is a little bit tricky getting the air bubbles out, but that's okay. You can uh, get it out. Just takes a little bit of little bit of work. So again, this is my uh, cutting tool from Dollar General. And I'm just going to cut this excess Buffalo check paper right off. Well, that was, huh, funny. A funky little bubble. Again, I'm using Mod Podge. Just pressing this out 
row, I, row with my finger. I'm gonna finish this black off with some black acrylic paint. I'm gonna paint the borders all around with the black. Just one coat of black, I think, would be really good to accentuate the buffalo check. I'm going to carefully, oh, for Pete's sakes. I honestly don't know why it is so difficult to get out of here. So I'm doing the white sign first, so I don't smear any of the um, ink on it from the buffalo check. So that's why I'm just going over it quickly like so. can work on the rest. I really don't know why this is so darn cantankerous trying to come out of the darn package. Like, really? Alright, there we go. So I'm just going to seal this plaque up quick, just work in really quick. Now this is the gloss. Finished with these plaques, I decided, you know what, I'm going to use some of my red acrylic paint and I'm going to actually touch up here. with some red. I don't know if you could see it, but I'm going to go around um, my border with red paint just to, um, I don't know, just to make it look nice. I think it would look nice with some red trim on it to go uh, kind of like correspond with the red truck. So guys, that is my It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year Buffalo Check Christmas plaque. That's all uh, sealed up coated. And now here is 
my little red truck. Merry Christmas. Um, I just did, it's not perfect, but I just did a little bit of outlining with the red on the sides. And then since some of it actually came over onto the white, I just decided to um, take my paintbrush and go around. Like I said, it's not perfect, but I think it does correspond with the um, with the little red truck. And all in all, I think they both turned out really, really cute. So if you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit my subscribe button. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to hit my bell so you get notified every time I upload. Take care, guys, and I will see you all on my next one. Good night.